I'm back. I'm back to have one final conversation about my take on Caleb Hammer's content, what I see, what I hear. And I have to say some things that I think are super important for those of you who are on my channel, watching my videos for actual help. Not to mansplain me, not to tell me I'm wrong, not to be a hater because that happens here on YouTube. But my channel and my content is specifically designed for the person who's tried old ways and cannot figure out how to make progress financially and who's looking for a new approach. That is me. So if you're here because you're looking for a softer approach, a kinder approach, and an approach that will actually work for you, you are in the right place. And today, I'm going through another Caleb Hammer video to make a clear distinction between what financial coaching is and what financial entertainment is. And I believe that there's no accidents that I stumbled upon this channel in particular because let's face it, he's crushing it. He's got over a million followers. He's doing exactly what he should be doing as a digital media person. He's got a channel that focuses on creating content that people watch, that people subscribe to. And I found it to be very hurtful in some ways. And also, I don't think it's real. I don't think it's real. I think a lot of these conversations that I'm watching on this channel are by potential actors, people who are being set up to have conversations that aren't really real, and that Caleb's playing the game. But I also think that it can be very hurtful in some ways, and those are the things that I wanna point out. So I'm watching this video today, Caleb. It's called, He's My Arch Nemesis is the title of the video, and he's got a kid who is a former car salesperson who quit his job before he came on the show. And up through the first half of the video, it's a lot of Caleb saying, you're a child, are you dumb, are you stupid? And we hear a lot of the same words and the same choices coming out of Caleb's mouth that we hear from other financial gurus when it comes to people making choices financially. I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. This person is an entertainer. It's financial entertainment. He calls it the financial audit because he's going through people's finances and then pointing out what they're spending money on. But there's not a ton of coaching value here and there's not a lot of transformative value here. Some of you are gonna point me out and say that I'm full of shit and the truth is, I don't care. Pointing out people's expenses and making people feel bad and shaming people for their choices in their bank account really doesn't create transformation. It creates more of the same, which is shame, guilt, fear, and people not really speaking up to get the help that they need because they're afraid they're gonna get more of this. It's hurtful, I do not agree with it. What you do get different in my world, what my clients get different from me, is that there are some psychological background and reasons why people make the choices that they make financially. There are patterns and cycles that people run. And for you, it's important that you start there, not just digging into the numbers, not just digging into $5 charges, but what are the reasons and purposes for the decisions that you're making financially that are influencing the behaviors that you have and getting you the results that you want or don't want financially. There are a million experts out there that are gonna teach you how to get out of debt. Numbers are numbers. If you follow systems, they work, but so many of you are up against it trying to follow systems that aren't working, and that's the point of my whole channel. We've gotta interrupt the patterns first, understand what the patterns really are and why they're happening in the first place. In my world, we dig back to childhood, y'all, zero to seven. It is not as simple as just looking at someone's financial history, calling them an idiot, pointing out that they're stupid, because you're not, you're not. And I've had it with people saying things like, oh, people need to be called out. They need to be shocked to make changes. Well, who the fuck are you to tell someone what they should do with their life or not do with their life? That is the point of this conversation. Who are you to decide? what someone is worth, what they're not worth, and who are you to call anyone dumb? It's not okay. It's for shock and entertainment purposes only. Yeah, you just can't have credit cards because it taps easy. This is why we're in debt because it taps easy. At that point, we can't have credit cards to save our life. We can't use other people's money to save our life. We can't have any loans to save our life. We can't do anything. You're not capable. If, if because you're just like, uh, uh, like that's what gets you going. That's entertainment. That's it. And I've seen 
minute after minute after minute of Caleb ranting and raving with these different antics, these different kind of things, that is not coaching, that is not supportive. And if you think that that's all that there is in the financial industry for that, I am sorry. I'm sorry because that just isn't the case. Specifically for women, here's what's happening on my channel and I've seen it in more than just one video. There's a lot of guys out there that are pointing the finger back to me who aren't being very nice. Maybe some women too saying that they agree with different approaches. That's fine if you agree with his approach. I guess, I mean, I guess I'm saying it's not fine that you agree with his approach. I think it's pretty horrible what people are saying to each other and how people are treating each other when it comes to their financial decisions. You're watching these comments Maybe you're, you're silently supporting what I'm saying. But if I were you, I wouldn't reach out into the comments and say anything either because I would be afraid of getting attacked. It's not safe. I'm choosing to speak up and speak out and speak my truth for other people and for those of you who agree. And it's okay that you don't comment here, but what you can do is subscribe to my channel and I'll keep creating content. And I'm gonna keep showing a different approach, an alternate approach that is not this. It does not take this for someone to change their life, okay? It's a low level energy that I am not here to attract onto my channel, but I am calling it out as another distinction of advice that I do not give. And as a coach that I am not, I am not like this for a reason. It's clear you don't really understand this and that is fine. You need to go through our new debt program. You okay. need to go through it. You'll get it for free for being on the show. Awesome. But you need to clearly, because the fact that you just don't know how to utilize that, mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it goes over how to pay off that in the most effective ways, but it also goes over how to utilize that in the most effective ways. So it's a full debt package. Mm -hmm. And you, the fact that you don't even know to like look at interest, you don't understand credit cards. And we go over the benefits of credit cards and how to completely f yourself and you f yourself and you didn't even know. What are we even talking about here? Another antic, another opportunity for Caleb to call somebody out for being dumb. And he's like, oh no, it's okay. You're just ignorant. So let me educate you. I see this all over the financial landscape. And I'm watching on the other side of the table, this kid, he's in his twenties. He's bright, you can tell. He is capable, but as an expert, Caleb has nowhere to go other than to put him down and make himself feel like or look like the expert. And that happens over and over and over again in the world of finance, and I'm sick of it. I want you to hear from me today that you are capable. You are smart, you are talented, you are worthy, and wherever you are financially, there is a way for you to figure out what it is that you need to do and figure out what it is that you want. You are not dumb, you are not ignorant. And I think that for a lot of reasons, you're here probably because you're tired of feeling afraid and overwhelmed and stressed. And those are all the emotional pieces behind the choices that you're making. This requires a much more compassionate conversation. And with actual strategies and tools of how to help you improve your money mindset, not just beat you up for what you're doing or what you're not doing financially. It's not okay. I want you to know that there is another way. I'm, a, I'm actually gonna leave it here. And I will say that as my producer and I were going back and forth getting prepared for this exact conversation, I told her, I said, hey, I can't, I just can't keep watching it. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good. I don't like it. I don't wanna put toxic, fearful stuff, blame game stuff into my own mindset or my own psychology. I try to stay clear of that in my own life. I'm gonna invite you to do that too. So again, if this is valuable for you, please keep watching my content. Please keep subscribing, commenting on the things that are relevant for you. And if you're here to just hate on me, you're not invited on my channel. I don't want you here. And if you don't agree with me, that's fine. Just keep going on your way. Keep enjoying the content that you're enjoying. I wish you well, but you're not welcome here anymore. Caleb's whole top promise, his whole conversation on his channel is about doing a financial audit. In this next video, I'm gonna talk about how you can do your own financial audit. No beating up, no shame, no fear, none of that required. And if you're interested in that, click on this link. It'll take you to my next video about how you can start the process of healing your relationship with money and having a new result. And I'm gonna teach you the baby steps to doing your own financial audit so you can start to see the trends and patterns for yourself and start making some course corrections on your own. 
I hope to see you there. I'm so grateful that you're here. I'm so grateful that you're a part of my world and let's keep learning together.